series is really a showcase for short fiction and short fiction writers. And it's a kind of a platform for local writers to come and read their, their short stories. I fancy a walk down an old country lane listening to a wood pigeon. I fancy a 1970s style banana split while listening to the Bee Gees. Writing, you know, doesn't have to be this solitary activity. And it's partly about reviving um, the tradition of storytelling and active listening. Um, I have submitted a couple of stories for, sh for short fuse before. And but you've read? I've before, read you? twice, yeah. But I just thought I might as well give it a try tonight. And I enjoyed it, yeah. Well, when you read a story, it's very different than just looking at it on the page. It's a very different experience. The, the, the story can come alive in a different way. Um, so I think it's great for writers to do that because it does free from the page and give you uh, feedback from a, a live audience. To look at them so you would think they were kings of the town. In truth, they hardly knew their next step. So the overall winner basically is decided by you. Nick? It's an essential part of self-promotion, in a sense, to have that skill of you know, public speaking, really, and delivering your work with the right intonation. And in a tone of a man able to anoint, he closed his eyes and said, on occasion. <laughs> Thank you, that's it. Raymond Carver used to drive off in his car, um, get away from the kids and, you know, a day job for 20 minutes and sit down, you know, write down his thoughts. And I think, you know, there is a, a, something about the short story that attracts not just first time writers but people with really busy lives. I teach creative writing, so I've had access to lots of writers who are really talented. So I knew that there was a sort of wealth of writing talent out there that wasn't getting seen, you know, that wasn't getting to share their work because they couldn't get it published. It's quite difficult to publish a short story in this country. A byproduct of that has been this really nice community of writers and people who are interested in hearing short fiction. I'm too old for mashed potato. To illustrate this, I use my fork to mould the mash into a shape which will alarm my stepfather. The first thing you have to do is to make your work unique. You have to be passionate about what you do. You have to really, really want to do it. You have to really, really want to communicate to people. Don't write. There's enough writers anyway. Uh, unless you can, simply can't help writing and you have to do it, just don't bother at all. It's something that a lot of people think that if they've kind of got a bit of gift, that they can suddenly produce brilliant work. And it's, I think it's like any of the arts, it, there's an apprenticeship involved. And you know, you need to be prepared to, to write for quite a number of years before you really understand the craft. And the thing about writing is that people forget that it's communication. And the best thing that you can do as a writer is to show your work to other people and to read it to other people. And if you can get yourself up on a stage to read it, then I think it's a really good experience.